The Dark Lord has been defeated. The book that has given him his eternal power cannot be destroyed. It must be hidden. hidden. Hey, he, hey, he, Lori Lantani, hey, he, Lantani, Lantani, Lassi, Sarebeni, Yeni, Another year down, school is over. Finally, it is summer break. What are you gonna do? Sleep. Every single day, I just wake up late and sleep. Sleep? Really? I'm gonna be playing video games and staying up till 2 a.m. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> There's something in the sand. I lost my... Pull it up. Let's see what it is. Kalani, come here a sec. You gotta see this. Can you just find that now? A book? Just what we need on summer break is another book. I don't ever want to see another book until September. <laughs> I think it was buried. It was discovered. Maybe with all this construction going on here. Hey, nerds. What are you doing? Funny, the nerds didn't call you over. What's the matter? Are you curious? Curious not to say that old oh, weird old book. Hold on, maybe there's money in it. Yeah, maybe I could buy you some manners.
Looks like a book of stuff. Let's try one out. Turn Peter into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real funny. You just found that now? Yeah, I was looking for my earring in the sand dug this out of the ground. Wands. Wands, really. Just put it back. This is some black magic stuff right here. Come on, black magic, it's just a book. Wands, really, does this seem like normal playground stuff? I'll take it home with me and play around with it tonight. Okay, just don't turn into a witch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like all the owls from the corner? Peace. <laughs> Caution, what touches you will join your journey. Transporto Comitas. Hey, let's go. Atini, come. Find the people who have the book. Go now. Those fools. What was with that all about? Some weird book and this magic wand stuff. This is kind of dumb. Dude, you only went over there because you like Mia. Shut up, man. Yes, seriously. I might as well go and tell her. Yeah, real funny. Yeah. Why don't you just stay there and hang out with your girlfriends? <sighs> that guy's whipped. Yeah, I know. Which spell were we on? Transport of Medias. So. See, this page right here makes objects float. Try moving the feather. Wait a second. Do you actually think this is going to work? Floating Origamotus. Floating Origamotus. Floating Origamotus. Nothing. It's not working. Try again. Try using the wand. Yeah. That's another weird thing about this. I opened the box filled with wands and there are many different ones in there. There was one that stood out in particular though. It almost wanted to be picked up. I'm going to use the same one I used at the park. Okay. This time, I'll try raising this. Floating Origamotus. Floating Origamotus. Look, it's moving, it's really moving. Try raising it into the air. Floating Orgamotus. I'm doing it, it's really floating. Quick, grab one, you try it. Floating Orgamotus. So floating cool. Orgamotus. I can't believe this is working. We have it's to amazing. try this. We all have to try this. I know. Okay. If we know this works, the others have to work too, right? Yeah. Let's try... Try this one. That's the one that we just did. Yes, it is. <laughs> Here. Let's try this one. The book says... Whatever is attached to you will work with you. So... Wait a minute. Aaliyah, are you crazy? Go where? Warp where? I want to see your messy room again. <laughs> According to the book, we go back to where we originally were. Fine. Transporto Comedians. These trees don't look normal. You think? You're right. Oh, guys, look, it's a butterfly! Oh, that is not a butterfly. 
That's like a different shaped butterfly. You know what a butterfly looks like? It's a line and wings. It's All right, we don't know if it's even poisonous. Exactly. Okay, enough well, about the chunky butterfly. You. Look where we are. We gotta figure out where we are. I mean, well, we don't know. Oh, we've never seen this. We should just leave. Yeah, we should. Why I mean, should we leave? Let's go explore a little bit. Explore? Let's just leave. Yeah, I don't know. We, we could get killed here. Why? Let's go just look around for a few minutes. Why would we do that? I mean, what's there to go home to? My parents are always fighting. My dad's gonna move to the city. School's always stressful, and I mm, always fail my tests. So what's the point of going back? My mom doesn't even know where I am most of the time. I could be here for literally 10 to nine weeks and my mom wouldn't even notice that I'm gone. I promise I'll bring you somewhere else. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Transporto Comedic. <laughs> oh oh my God. what just happened? What was that? I don't know, that's so cool. But I'm glad to see your messy room again. Same though, right? It's so cool. <laughs> okay, well, we have to all agree that we don't tell our parents. Of course. Agreed. Obviously. We only show this to the rest of our friends who are at the park. Wait, 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 I don't think this is such a good idea. What if somebody gets hurt or something? We should just keep it to ourselves. But then they can help us if someone does. There are more people, and I don't know if this is such a great idea, but if you really want to, then sure. Okay. Thanks, the boys, to meet us tomorrow. Got it. Discovering the magic, my dear? I'll let you explore the book, and soon I will take it away. for one week and my mom couldn't notice anyway. Look guys, this is serious. It's about the book we found at the playground. Allie, come on, you actually want to go to the hotel with you? You got bored? No, moron, and if you're lucky, I'll let you know the most amazing thing you've ever seen. What's so important about some book and magic sticks anyway? They're not sticks. Everyone grab a wand. You too, Mike, come on. Don't just reach one, look at each of them until you feel something special. There's a spell in the book where we could work, which means we can go from place to place. I know this sounds like so weird, but it really did work. We tried to have the sleepover. You have to trust us on this. Oh my God, guys, we tried this last night and it really worked. It's true, guys, it really did work. Look, guys, if you guys aren't gonna be mature about this, we're gonna find someone else. It's true, guys, we lifted the feather. Guys, it's summer. I'm looking to play football or something, not to get mixed up in your fairy tale magic. This isn't any kind of fairy tale magic. This is reality. Watch. Floating Oregamotus. That, that was amazing. That all came from that book? What else can it do? So much more. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty interested in this warping thing, and I think we should do it. Right now we're going to work, right? Listen guys, I let you in on the secret. No one tell. Caution, what touches you will join your journey. This is a terrible okay. handwriting. The landing is just a little rough. Oh yeah, just a what? little rough. What landing? Just, Sorry, what? just a little rough. Oh, come on. I'm not, we're just joking. Okay, we're just, just joking. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. Transport to Camino. What just happened? That? I don't know. It's amazing. So this is where it was buried. The book hidden for 2,000 years. The Glimpse Rock. Only four of them in all the universe. And I have one.
the power to bring people back from the afterlife for a short time. Look nach nach Ruf. Rauf well the end day. Glimpse rock. Give me the power to bring back. Cameron Wolf, I'm at your service, and I'm sorry to summon you here in the afterlife, but there are some questions that I must have answered. I would have preferred to bring you back here to talk about our family history. You do not have much time. You know that it's only minutes that this portal stays open. So ask your questions, young man. The book. Was it the only one? Yes. The Book of the Return. I gather, if you had to use the glimpse rock, it's because the book has already surfaced. It has, and the powers are to be to resurrect the Dark Lord once again. No. They can only use the book to start the process and reign evil, but they will need all three books to resurrect the Dark Lord. I know what you will ask next of me. And the answer is no. I do not know where the other two books are. If we wizards would swear that we would never tell anyone where we hid them, so there would be no temptation that anyone would want to extract its power. Young Minx, you look in the darkest corner of power. It's there that you will find the book. Your father would be proud of you. So stay focused and don't let them bring the evil Lord back. Farewell, Cameron Wolf. Wherever you are, my grandfather. Scummy places like this hiding away. We'll be back to ballrooms and castles in no time. Hmm. I agree. So tell me, my friend, what is the occasion? Gobleretta asked me to ask you to go see her sister, Louisiana. Is that so? Louisiana, as in the scared little girl in the mountains who no longer visits her family for whatever reason. <laughs> she is known to drive men to death from just one look at her beauty. She is up in the mountains. She doesn't come out too much anymore. She doesn't even visit her family. So I'm really be careful. Be careful. Don't worry about me, my friend. Careful is my middle name. Now tell me, what is the objective of this said conquest? Well, you're going to have to go meet her first. So you have to go up to the mountain to the second moon and make a right by the bedside. All right. I suppose we're going to need her to help resurrect the Dark Lord. We're going to absolutely need her to resurrect the Dark Lord. Excellent. <laughs> Saddle my horses. If this woman is lucky, perhaps she will be my wife. <laughs>
place could use a dustbin. What brings you here uninvited? You are either stupid or you have come to be my servant to never see daylight again. I was sent here by your sister, Gabloretta. She has a few things that she believes you would have interest in. Just a little black magic, right up your alley. You've been hiding away in this rock for far too long, and there's some things you should know. Now, I would never speak out of line. I am simply here delivering a message. We are in preparation for the Dark Lord's resurrection, and we are in search of powerful allies to aid us in our conquest. You can go back to my sister and let her know that I am not interested in anything you or her have to say. And the next time you come here uninvited, you will leave with no legs. No, no, my dear. No need to be snooty or snotty. Perhaps when this is all over, we can get to know each other a little better, if you know what I mean. You need all the spells in the book to bring the Dark Lord back. You're going to have to take my word for it. I saw it with my own eyes. Plus, it is imperative for us to take charge before the others figure out what we are up to. Now, are you in or not? That is a yes. Professor. Professor. This sounded urgent. The last time there was urgency in your voice, it wasn't good. Thanks. What has happened? This is not good by any stretch of the imagination, Professor. The book, it has surfaced. What? Are you sure? I'm positive. I would not play games like this. The book has surfaced and it has been found by a bunch of ergo youngsters playing in the sand. I have no doubt that the people behind this seek to resurrect the Dark Lord. We are in serious trouble. I sent a teeny to track it. He has confirmed that the book is in their possession. I will have to make arrangements to go there and get the book. I also confirmed this through the Glimpse Rock. I brought back Cameron Wolf. After 2,000 years, him and I had a conversation. It's true. The Glimpse Rock. You use this to seek the book. Thanks. I'm so sorry. I had no choice, Professor. I had to confirm if this was true. If this is true and the book is out and the Three Sisters spells could fall on the powers of the Dark Lord, it could be disastrous. You remember what happened in the last war. Death was upon us on the first war. No one wants a second. But I'm afraid if we don't take a stand now, Professor, regardless of what the Council says, we will not win this time. So many sacrifices. Death. Missing wizards and witches in the last war. The thought of us having to go through that again pains me dearly. 
You know I lost my brother and sister when the Dark Lord fell. But I will give my life if necessary, if it means defending this castle. You will have to notify the others that the book has surfaced and everyone must be on their guard. And you cannot trust the council. Keep that between me and you. They manipulate the justice system. Go back, tell the others. I'll make my journey to get the book and bring it back and be in touch. I can't believe this is happening again. Why? Why now? We've had such peace. Those books. Those books. Everyone's life is at stake. The castle is at stake. Our destinies are at stake. I don't want this to happen again. We have no choice. I will alert the others. Hey, good morning. It's me, Wally Bird, your information source for all your latest news, traffic, and weather. We are going to have a great day today. It is sunny skies with a high of 70 degrees, so be sure you stay flying high just like me all the time. I am your information source. I will tell you what you need to I'm expecting more from my first year students. This is not a magical beginner's class. Picture this, you're in a forbidden forest and you haven't eaten in a few days. But then you see some mushrooms, <laughs> mushrooms. And you begin to eat them, not realizing that they're poisonous and it can kill every organ in your body until you're dead. Now, once you're dead, you'll be bitten by the fly gypsies. Now, you know and I know that the nipple can be quite annoying. That's why you have to know your Ogavian fungi, the spell. The spell could have saved your life. What's the moral of the story? Don't forget the spell. Lucky for me, I don't eat mushrooms. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Watson. That response right there would get you an F on my exam. I'm quizzing you all tomorrow on quenching a dragon's fire. Oh. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. The last thing you want to do is upset the fiery dragon because it can ruin your day say the least. Professor Lair, please come with me this instant. Okay. So everyone turn to page 34. And I'll be right back. Things aren't looking too good for Professor Lair. Good. I hope this class ends soon. Finally. We're gonna find out right now. It's it's okay. Okay. What's this about? There seems to be a nasty rumor floating around that one of the books have been discovered and is being used in this moment of time. Don't utter a word to anyone else, but it's true. Professor Finks was the first to discover it. He was there. Apparently, outsiders found the book and are now being tracked by followers of the Dark Lord. How could this be? Only one book has been found? That's one book too many, mm -hmm. but yes, only one has been found. Starting tomorrow, you'll be teaching in Pillar 4, Beginner's Art. We have some new arrivals, first year of magic. I don't teach Beginner's Art. You do now. Besides, we couldn't think of anyone better suited for the position. Well, 
now that the book is out there and its powers are open to anyone who can process it, be on the lookout. Doc, has there been any strange activity at night? Just the average. Snotty teens lingering out of their quarters, making a ruckus. Good. Go close off the East Corridor. I want no one in the East Wing after 9 p.m. As you wish. I got word that the council is sending some of their staff to investigate the castle for any strange activity. So, press on and be on your best. If I may be so bold, Dean, if you want to protect the castle from the evil that will lurk here, we need old magic to beat the spells in that book. You all remember what happened to the fall of the Dark Lord. It was old elvish magic that defeated him. Elvish magic that was banned by the council. So why would we even get them involved? Mind your tongue, Professor. What you're saying is treason. We will follow all the protocol exactly as the council has it laid out. We will have this conversation again soon. Remember, everyone be on their guard. Even the smallest detail could be a sign of trouble. Professor, Professor. Yes. How could this happen? The elders buried the boat beneath the earth. Nothing is buried forever. There's some serious black magic out there trying to get hold of this book. I am counting on you to get this class ready. This is coming straight from Professor Finks. Where is Professor Finks? I seek the Lady of the Dirt. I seek the Lady of the Dirt. Answer my calling. your service, what do you ask of me? At your service, my lady. They have taken the book to another world, far from here. Where did they take the book? It has already been found. Do not make haste. Find the book. Do you think this book could really take us anywhere in the universe? Well, it took us to a couple places. I'm not sure if I want to go back to the butterfly world. <laughs> Me either. Look, there's a story about the three sisters. Really? Well, come on, read it. <laughs> Long ago, there lived three sisters who possessed natural magical powers. The townspeople knew of their special abilities, so their mother hid them away from the public to protect them from evil. It was rumored that the three sisters could even bring people back from the dead. It wasn't long before a man found them and tricked the poor mother into selling her three daughters as she could not afford to take care of them any longer. Saddened by the deal she had made, the mother took her own life. The man sold the three sisters to a dark wizard who stole their powers. The dark wizard blindfolded the sisters so they could never cast their powers on him. Every day, the dark wizard would make them write down a new spell to make the wizard more powerful. It wasn't long before the three sisters wrote all of their spells down in several books. The three sisters sent the books far away so that the dark lord could never use their powers again. Just because I cannot touch you yet, doesn't mean I can't put a spell on you. Mom! 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 Mommy, help me! 
You spoiled little brat! Give me the book or you and your friends will be very sorry! My name is Goberetta! Ask the wizard world about me! I am not the one to mess with! Where is the book? I don't know where the book is, it's not here! I told you I wasn't messing with you, little brat! Now stay frozen for a while, and maybe when I come back, you'll remember where the book is. Now you may wake my dear. simply asked. Fool! Shut up! There is never a bad time to do work for the Dark Lord. So let's have it. What did my sister say? Ha <laughs> ha, your sister. She is quite the charmer. Nearly choked me out with my own wand, and I must say it was quite the experience to have my dead father inform me that I, once again, a moron. Yet again. So, let's have it. Will she help us? She said she is willing to help you as long as you can return her territory to her. No one visits the East Can anymore anyway, so fine. She can have it. She's been up there so long, she's not thinking straight. They are on to us. They know we are after the book, and so are they. I visited with the Ergo girl who found it. I put her underneath one of my spells. That heath of a woman, Tabitha Beal, got involved and set her free. I swear I will cross paths with that Tabitha wench again, and when I do, she will not be breathing. Gobleretta, with all due respect, the last time you and Tabitha had a standoff, it did not end quite well for you, and you received quite the butt whooping. Mind your tongue, Paul! Sorry? I was covering for the Dark Lord, and she blindsided me. Trust me, she does not want to fall in line with me again. Of course not, my lady. You are the Queen of Darkness, and you command the respect of all beings on this planet. Now, go summon the rest of our regime so we can put our powers together. That pool. What an idiot. Unicorn. A tooth from the Parson's Dragon. Blood from a god. A feather from a phoenix. It's working. We will take back what was ours long ago. We still have a long way to go. We still need the book to bring the Dark Lord back. You don't think I know that? Wasn't it me there at his fall? I grabbed his wand. I grabbed it. Nearly cost me my life. 
I have been living my days grinding my teeth for revenge. Oh, please, Rev. We've all been in hiding since the Dark Lord's fall. You don't get a pass to call me that. How about I send you into the darkest blind and death without your powers? Don't test me, fool. You are the one that has been hiding. I have been planning. Stop it, all of you. Both acting like schoolhouse children, bickering back and forth. We need to remain focused. They already know we're trying to bring him back. Traitors among us? I will cut the tongue out of anyone, I assure you all of that. We need the other items in order to bring him back. If I... we wait too long, we'll have missed our chance. I told you I would get it. We will bring the Dark Lord back. He will make me his first loyal servant. My Lord will take back what is rightfully ours. I will inform the others and align our armies and get ready for his return. What was that? Paul, check it out, you idiot, go! My pleasure, Governor Renter. See what they were doing in that castle? Yeah, especially the one with the black hat. I don't think they wanted us there. You think? Yeah, I think we should get out of here as fast as we can. Me too. Yeah, I have to find the others. Yeah. Where are you, you babbling baboons? Come on, come on, we have to get out of here. Come on. I smell the blood of an intruder. Where are you, you putrid puddles of puke? You just wait until I find you. I was the dodgeball champion and volleyball champion for five years, consecutively. And I can split a dragon scaler from approximately 1.657 miles away. When I find you, I am going to turn you all into crogheads. Test me. Goblinite has said I am the strongest wizard she's ever known. I'll prove it. Don't make me. I will. I'm nuts. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. I smell the blood of the enemy. Where are you, babbling buffoons? Yes, you. <laughs> Death is a construct that no world is free from. <laughs> Not even you. Goblinette, I got one. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I got one. Not one. Oh, yes. This is what I want to see. Does he have the book? No. You idiot, Paul! We need the book! I know. Come on, you know this. <sighs> I tried. Not good enough. As you say, as you wish. Go find the one with the book. Yes, my lady. There they are! Get them!
We should have never got mixed up in this book anyway. Like, now my best friend's dead because of it. What do you want me to do? He wanted to come. You wanted to come. Everyone in this room wanted to come on this journey. It's guys, all them. Guys, we shouldn't blame her. I mean, we were all curious, and we all wanted to see what this book could do. Yeah, but all of you know those witches wanted the book. Which yeah. is why we shouldn't even have the book in the first place. Well, how are we going to tell his par parents that he's dead? Okay, well, just tell them that your son got lost in the forest because you were the one who wanted to go home in the first place. Yeah, I wanted to go home so that nobody got hurt. Yeah, but someone got killed. You should have went home writing. How was I supposed to know that? Maybe we should just tell them the truth. Oh, my God, your son got killed by some magic. Well, then how are we going to tell them? Then we'll just say he got ran over by a bus. We can't just lie to them right to their faces. They're going then to, like, send people to look anyway. for him. Then we should just find out a spell that erases my memory. There is a spell to erase memories, but I never did it before. Okay, so maybe we could get a wizard to help us. I mean, or maybe you could learn it. Guys, you know the witch wants the book. She's going to take it, which is why we shouldn't even have the book. Yeah, but that's her fault. She should have never used us to go with her. How was I supposed to know what the book is going to do? That, I just found it. That book is evil. How was I supposed to know? You should have never used it in the first place. Guys, you all wanted to do it. Stop fighting. You know what? This is all oh, your fault. Well, you should have never used fault. that stupid book. You guys book. wanted to do it too. It's guys, it. guys, stop fighting. You're, you're it's not just her fault. fault. We all found the book together. What? We're all in this together, and we're all blaming us. It's time to get the book. But first, I'll have to make myself presentable. Oh my god! Presento for Beavis. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Carmichael Finks. And I've just put you under a frozen spell just for a couple of moments because you know children tend to not pay attention. So listen up please, because this is going to benefit you greatly. I am a professor at the prestigious Sims castle. Nevertheless, I'm here to tell you that you are in great danger. I'll take that book, thank you. Okay. I'll hold on to that for now. So these are the lucky children, the ergos, that's what we call them in our world, who have found one of the most magical books known. You are all in great danger. And I've come here to offer you the opportunity to go to the castle and learn magic so that you can defend yourself against the dark forces of the universe, who will ultimately hunt you down because you found this book. Unfortunately, once you are marked, you are marked for the rest of your life. And I can try to erase your memories, but even that's not 100% guaranteed that you will ever be left alone. So best that I bring you to a magical place that you will be safe and that you will learn how to defend yourself. And in a moment, I will unfreeze you and we can have a discussion. You see, Mo, Opus. Okay. You have been tracked by finding this book and I can't for the life of me understand why it appeared in your possession or in this world. Nevertheless, it has. And it is my job and duty to take you to the castle to learn magic. This is very, very serious. I'm afraid that you don't know how powerful this book really is. And now that you have found it, it'll be, I hate to say this, a burden on your life forever. First order of business, I'll have to give the book back to Atini. What is that? Oh my God, this is Atini, take the book. You know where to hide it. That's Atini the elf. Fascinating creatures. Where did he come? They've been around for a long time. In fact, they used to be gobbled up by the Tomlin giants. Why did they kill them? Gobble them up in one bite. And I went to the island and I said, "Come with us, and you can live free." There's a lot to defend yourselves. I guess the question that I have to ask is, who wants to go to the castle and who wants to stay? But before you answer that, understand something. Though we cannot guarantee your safety and you're under Sims. Uh, Castle's magic, which is the most powerful in the universe. Okay. We take every step and precaution to keep you safe. But know that it's a very dangerous journey, adventurous as it is. You'll become great wizards and witches. But you have to understand something, that it is also very dangerous. And there is a chance that you could be erased from this world forever. So I want you to think about it. Think about it. 
and let me know, do you really want to go? By a show of hands, if you give me the hands up, I will make your wand available for a transport tomorrow at 9 a.m. your time when you'll be transferred to our world. Now, I'd like to see a show of hands who would like to go to the castle. Okay, thank you. And you do not. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to end up like Peter. I'm, I'm too young to die. It's so okay. Terrible. We don't blame you. The only blame reason you. I'm going is to get back at the people who killed Peter. Yeah. yeah. I'm with Michael. Fair enough. I will erase your memory if I erase your memory. You will have no recollection of any of this at all. And though it will help in keeping you safe, I cannot guarantee that the dark forces will never reach you again. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. I will remove that memory. It was going to be like you are never part of this journey at all. The rest of you, tomorrow morning, pack up. Take only what you can carry. You will meet great wizards and professors that will teach you magic, and you will live in the castle. Well, I would love to stay for lunch, but unfortunately, I have to go. There's many things I have to do, and I'll open the portal for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Where are you going? Oh, nothing, nothing. We're just talking about homework. What happened? What is this? Oh, oh, oh that's not an art That's nothing. It's an art project. It's an art project. It's about it. Yeah, we had it. We had to make a step. Yeah. Like, Witches, wizards, wands, books. Am I even gonna like it there? Move along. I hate my classes this year. I know, right? It's torturous. Even just thinking about Professor Lair's class is driving me insane. Are you two gonna move? Yeah. Where's your manners? Don't have them. Who's that? Jealousy, duh. I've never even been here for five seconds. I'm so glad I already know the treacherous spell, because if not, then I won't be able to stay in the honor roll, because I've been studying all summer. That's so our best friends. What's the Tetris stuff? Oh, we're here to learn, aren't we? Oh my god, I can't even believe it. It looks way better than it does in the pictures. You better believe it, because you don't want Gobloretta to come at you at night. <laughs> I'd rather be here than anywhere else. Um, come on, are you coming? I don't think I'm ready for this. Come on, you lost the spell book, and we're here now. We're involved with bad people. We have to learn these spells to protect us. I don't want to get in more trouble. Come on, you lost the book, and now we're involved with really bad people. We don't know what they could do to us. We need to go get the spells so that we could survive. I mean, you're risking your life by not going in there. 
I don't want to risk your life, though. But you'll never know if you don't try. Do it for Peter. Do you want to end up how Peter did? Come on, seriously, I don't want to lose you. Okay, at least I'm with you. <laughs> okay, come on, we'll do fine. <laughs> sound wizards and professors. It's a lovely day here at the Kensingworths Castle. Today, first and foremost, we have to give a big congratulations to Professor Tabitha Beal for being the first person to successfully make the potion to calm the willow bee. All that are grateful will come this way of a stress-free summer, knowing they're not going to get stung. Get out of here. A big congratulation goes out to the Graviton team as they came in second place in this week's finals. All those trying out for the next meet will need to contact Professor Gannis for details. Just be advised, it's only open for first and second year students. In other news, Dean Beatley will be meeting with the Minister of Academic Studies to try to get barring approved once again in our schools. This is a big push on the conservative front, and I know that they're all excited to get these sports back up and running. Professor Forrest is strongly encouraging students to obey the nighttime curfew. Please be advised that there is no walking around outside of the dorms past the setting of the second sun. So be careful out there. Calling all Willoughby's and Toombas, if you think you can take the lights of the orange felt dragon, then Professor Lair is heading an after school program to teach you how to slay some dragons. It is not for the faint of heart, and it's not for me either. Come on, get out of here. As for the weather, clear, brisk, and sunny conditions today. Just uh, be advised, there's a high count of the suckling flies. Those of you traveling on broom may think twice. After the first lit moon, the ride is going to be bumpy. For now, I'm Wally Bird signing off until tomorrow's broadcast. And remember, as always, there are wizards, there are witches, and there are those students, they still haven't perfected their craft of magic. So be safe, be careful, and watch out for those dark arts. Studio. Get out of here. I'm Wally Bird. Have a good night. Focus. You've all heard of the first roar of the dragon, which means you have five sands to get to class. Hit me, moving. Mr. Doolittle. You guys are new here, right? Yeah. You guys want to go to the Tomb of Willoughby's game? Uh, okay. All right, see you guys there. Children, stop dawdling and get to class. You're going to be late. Hey, you over there, you're going to be late too. Move it. Move it, I said. You over there, get to class right now. Don't listen to her, that's Mildred, the oldest and meanest witch in the castle. Absolutely. Good to know, thanks. Thank you. Look, three new ergo girls. I wonder if they'll make it through the school year. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Charmed. Thank you. Doesn't matter where you are in the universe, there's always people like her. Imagine the nerve of this girl thinking who she is. Just forget about her. She should have been kicked out of school on the first day. I'll use my wand on you. Chillax. Kids, everywhere, everywhere. Have you seen the cafeteria? Don't these kids have a place to be? Disgusting. It only happens every now and then. Professor Lair, you're late. You already missed the first roar of the dragon. Listen, I know I'm late. I'm sorry. Let me explain. My dragon is 180 years old. They don't make her like they used to. If we've done the first part well, there should be some communication with the Dark Lord. When did you become an expert? You know we need the book in hand to bring him back. And you don't have that. Did I say bring him back? I said communicate. Maybe open your ears a bit more next time and you'll understand what people are saying. It's a long shot. A long shot? Almost impossible. I would have waited till I had the book in my hand before I started anything. We grow weaker and weaker with each task we cannot complete. And the others in Sims Castle? We'll be on our tails when they figure out what we're doing. I agree. But this could bring us trouble. Boo, hoo, hoo.
passion. Cry like a baby, Relk. I'll be sure to let the Dark Lord know what winklings without a spine he has in his corner. I'm going to say this for the last time. The spell of the return from the three sisters is very complicated, but I'm sure we did the first part correct. So there should be some form of communication here. I will summon him. No, we are not ready. Stand aside if not worthy. Red maple, ribbon, and stir up roots. Rise, oh dark lord, rise. Ha, nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. We did everything. We followed every spell. What happened? Shh. Quiet. Your loyalty will be tested and rewarded. Fifteen years it's been. I will come back with a vengeance. My lord! The book belongs to me. Bring them back to me, so I can make myself a living form again. Don't make haste. They are trying to stop you as I speak. Show your master that you are stronger than they are, and bring me what I ask of you. Go now. Anything for you, my lord. Thank you, Mariella, for rounding everybody up. Don't be late to class again. Thank you, Professor. So, Professor Finks wants me to train you guys on the Parsons Dragon. The Parsons Dragon is the most prized dragon in the world. The dragon was sought off by all evil forces, and this has been going on for ages. The teeth of the dragon are used for special ingredients for potions and spells. That shows you how special this dragon is. Now, the thing about this dragon, it only flies children with the purest hearts. It does not allow adults to be flown. The Parsons Dragon is only four left in the whole universe, and you're riding one of them. Now, if you fall off this dragon, it's not gonna come get you. So you might wanna hold on. Levitonic of Modus. <laughs>
because I've been here before. It was a very long time ago, but I can smell his stench again. It is a smell that you just do not forget. Isn't this the man who you were to marry? Quiet, idiot! Okay. I am not in the mood for your comments today. Besides, we have others we need to recruit. And we can't spend all day long here. I would be a little leery of Relk. He is not always inviting. Do you hear that? What is that sound? It's probably just your crackly old leather boots. Time to replace them, don't you think? <laughs> to convince myself that you did not mean to do that with me because I will cast you into the darkest corner of the universe! Of course not. In fact, it's good to see you. It's been many sands since we last met. The age of the dark lord up ended and we were all banished. It doesn't have to be like that anymore. The book has surfaced. The book? Are you sure? Where is it? I don't have it. But I know where it is. Do you think I'd come to you asking you for help if I had it in my possession? Let's stop with the back and forth. We are planning on taking on Sim's castle and having them all bow down to their knees. I'm asking you to join and take the black hand of the Dark Lord. I'm in on one condition. Well, as you know, the council has my brother in captivity. I want him free first, and then I will have you. Yeah, okay. I can get your brother out, but do not cross me, Ralph. Do not even think about it. And your brother is a complete psycho. Best to keep him away from me. Unfreeze my people now! Okay. As you say. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes, now. I will see you later. You are terrible at magic! That is exactly what just happened! Oh, well, it isn't Galgareja, the Princess of Darkness, who commands the respect and loyalty of all creatures on this planet. Idiot pool! Come in. Professor Finks. Forgive my intrusion, Madeira. I see that you're... Studying as usual reminds me of when you were just a bright young student in my class many years ago. You know, there are times when I think that that childhood of yours never had a chance to come out and enjoy herself. You should not let that happen to your adult life. There are more things in this universe than just studying to become a great wizard. Forgive my mawkishness. As you get older, you tend to want to lend your vision and wisdom to the young. Ah, uh, reminds me of your mother. My mother? You knew her? Yes, Patricia. She had a heart bigger than this castle. A laugh that you can hear from a mile away. 
and at times made you feel like you were the only one standing in the room. She was a bright wizard, indeed, and it's a tragic what happened to her. I overheard some of the elders talking. Is it true? Has the book been found? Yes, and this is the reason why I've come to see you today. The book has been found, unfortunately. I had always wondered what would happen if I found the book. Would I be just and do good things, or keep the magic to myself? Would I bring back loved ones from the grave? Or would I make my magic so powerful that I can do anything and no one could stop me? The book can be very evil, can turn the most beautiful hearts into a sea of dark madness. Without the proper guidance, the book can turn you into something that you could never have imagined. Not even the Dark Lord, with three books in his possession, could wield the power to make it work for him. Well, starting tomorrow, I will need you to leave your class and go to a new one. We're training new students that are arriving to the castle tomorrow. They are the Ergo children that have found the book. They're in great danger. They've been tracked and they'll be followed and they'll need to prepare themselves. I'm relying on you to get the class together. Can I trust you? I'm always here to serve the castle. Thank you, Madeira. I have myself a great night. shows you lightness in a sea of darkness. But be wary, it will not last you long. The way to perform this spell successfully is by turning your wand and flicking. Michael, raise your wand. Turn and flip. And when we do this, we will say, Luminare. I'll say, Luminare. Now say it with the diction. Luminare! Luminare! Try again. Luminare! Look at your wand. Does this have any light? I think it's just something wrong with my wand. It's not working. Again with diction. Anna, you may step forward. Illuminare! Hmm. Some practice is needed. Step back. 
Aaliyah! Luminari! Quite impressive. I do wonder how you managed to get your hands on the most powerful book in all of the world. So how did you manage to come across the book? It just came to me. It just came to you. Hmm. Well, that'll be all for today. You can all be dismissed and head down to the mess hall for a delicious meal that I believe will be fried dragon beans and oversized ostrich eggs. Enjoy, children. Make anything, brother. This is class. Have a good day. Hygiene is very important at Sims Castle, Mia. Telly, Telly, Telly. Okay. Oh my God, geez, you're a good hider. I've been running around the whole castle looking for you. Um, how are you today? I'm doing good. So you know how last week you told me how you were studying the books in the Forbidden Library? Sure. Okay. Um, so me and my friends have a big favor to ask you. So you know about the Free Law Sisters? Yes, I've heard of them. Um, do you think maybe you could bring them back for us? Absolutely not. Look, I like you, but not for this. I'm gonna get expelled if I do that spell. Um, a day? No. Six hours? No. Stop trying to negotiate with me. If I do it, it could go on my permanent record. I could get expelled. Look, this is real life that we're talking about. This is somebody's life we're talking about. I mean, it's a long story, but I'll just give you the details of it. My best friend died two weeks ago from the evil wizards, and me and my friends, all we want to do is just try and get him back, please. Literally, this is the only way we could get him back. What's in it for me if I did? I don't care. I'll do anything. I promise. So if I have a favor, I don't know what it is right now, but if I do, would you do it for me? Yes, I promise. This is somebody's life we're talking about. Fine. Meet me at the third hole in the dungeon at midnight. If you're late, I'm moving on. Okay, um, thank you so much. I know you could bring him back. I mean, I might have only known you for t two weeks and all, but you are the best and smartest girl in this whole entire castle. So, um, you're the only way we could bring him back and the Free Lost Sisters. Um, thank you, I owe you. Nice to meet you, by the way. I'm Mia. Bye! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're getting into this one. Let's go. Everyone in the East Wing is now ready. Our armies are aligned. The dragon's ready to fly. The potion is ready to go. And I have the Parsons too. At first, we will take Sim's castle. There are things in that castle that I need to bring to the Dark Lord. Evan's potion, Marble's eyes, Torch's eagle. I know just where to- I cannot believe he showed his face. Leave us! Doing all this without me? Not us! How is that any way to treat an old friend? And what's all this business I'm hearing about you resurrecting the Dark Lord? but not including me. That's kind of like making a sundae without the whipped cream. Oh, can it, Zod? You are a trainer of the Dark World. And are you forgetting what happened last time the Dark Lord fall? You left me there like a coward to fall with him. I need people that are gonna be there for me to the very end. We were finished. No one to get out. It is never done now. We have found the book. What? Yes. Do you still have keys to the cave? Woman, hold your tongue. I'm the keeper of the keys. Just like my father, grandfather, and all our ancestors before us. Good. Then let's begin. Spells. Witches. Wizards and girlfriends.
best and never fail It's not easy being me The other kids hate me for knowing so much So fear my magic Cause my wounds disastrous Even with my wounds absence I'm still a mistress of magic Yes, Cassius? Where is she? You know, she's always late, and I think someone should tell her that. You should try telling her that to her face. <laughs> I don't think so. Last time someone says something to her, she turned her own brother into a dragon. Sounds like something she'd do. It is official. We take over Sim's castle tomorrow. I have two people inside that can get us in. And I can make sure their shields are down so we can get in. Let's do this. Hi. Don't we have a class to be at? You didn't hear the roar of the first dragon? It's no, sorry. We do have rules here. Mm -hmm. And you're always late. You two. Sorry. Okay. So, as I was saying earlier, there's this girl and her name is Tilly, and she's super smart. She knows the whole entire story of the Free Sisters, and she has access to the Forbidden Library, and she's been having that access for two whole years. And I think that there's a chance that we could bring Peter back from the dead, and I really want to do this, please. I know, but that sounds really crazy. Of course it does. I mean, I want Peter back more than anyone, but it just seems like we're delving into some serious black magic that is really bad. It can curse us. This means war. Galbaretta and her witch hunt is going to come through that door in two seconds. So if you want to just stand here and chill and watch them kill us, then I'm fine with that. But I'd no. rather actually learn something to like Not protect us. Sense. I was gonna say, here she comes. Uh, this could help us. Hello. Hello, ladies. So here's what I know about the three sisters and the spell of the return. Okay. As you may know, the three sisters hold incredible magic ability. Their spells are next level magic. Mm -hmm. And I am happy to say I've read them all. You have? Oh. Yes, of course. Yeah. <gasps> Do not utter a word to anyone. We will. I could get expelled. And you and I both know I have a perfect record. Good for you. Your secret's safe with us. But be very careful of these spells. Some of them can be very dangerous, and if not used well, can have a very adverse effect. Okay, so we don't care about that. We just need to get it from back. It's a long story, but we just need to get it back. And we also have to make sure the dark side does not continue to come after us. And... They seem to be after me because I found the book. Lucky you. It's yeah, not lucky. Real lucky. This spells are on the north side of the castle. Okay. Here's a map. Thank you. Once you reach the last corridor, you will count ten bricks to your left. Got it. The tenth brick will have the spells. I'm not sure if it's the spells you're looking for, but it's the first place to start. Okay. Don't get caught. Okay. These could get you expelled. Okay. okay. Thank you so this. much. Good luck and let's uh, go. Let's go. keep us posted. Okay, hey, let's do this. You make it fall. Do it. Look, Samantha! Team Michael! Hey, guys. You guys are excited for sore eyes? How's your guys' classes going? Good. We're learning how to not get eaten by the sparrow snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one needs to be worried about stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We need your help. Oh, yeah. Um, what is it? So we're going to go and find some hidden spells from the Three Sisters Archive. Yeah. Are you in? Yeah. I um, can't. I'm going away for three days to go slay a dragon. That sounds fun, though. <laughs> Have fun. I'm sure you'll do great. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Can you guys come? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Meet us here tonight at the north side of the castle at the first night bell. 
It doesn't move because it's spelled. And don't let anyone follow you. This is a secret. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later tonight. Bye. Oh, hey. I hate Mrs. Rayner's class. It's like she's a total witch. She kind of is. If I have to go find that tether leaf one more time in the forest, I'm going to scream. She is a witch, technically. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad I don't have that classes. That's all I'm saying. You seem very... Yeah. You guys are lucky. Bye. 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 Kids, always making noise. No wonder I don't get any sleep. It's the same thing, it's the same level. Every year, these kids are all the same. I never stayed up late or partied. I was a model student. Professor Fink, sweep the floors. Watch the kids, keep them in line. It's too much bloody work for one wizard. I, I don't think anyone's here, so... I'll think I can, I think we can talk. Okay. Um, do your thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, that's it, it has to be it. If you guys didn't know, um, I didn't make a sledgehammer. Of thing. course you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how do you suppose break into this brick? Yeah, how are you? It's really yeah. funny. Uh, well, we're kind of in a wizarding school, so I have a spell. Let's see if oh, it works. Right. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Canaris, open it. it it's working. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? In the guys, where did it go? Where did it go? There's nothing. It left something. It left something. I have I I never seen these spells before. I think Guys, Tully was right. Get out of here. Tully was right. Who's in the hallway now? Door. 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 Let's get out of here. <laughs> you got the spells of the return. Here we are, moment of truth. I would like to say I never personally performed these spells myself. It seems weird that the three sisters allow anyone to perform these spells. Nevertheless, there's no turning back now. If you want to get your friend back, I would like to conclude this is your last chance. I would like to include that I like this landing much better without the book. <laughs> it says if the spell is performed in the Forbidden Castle, then the resurrection of the dead is possible. Are you guys sure this isn't going to lead us to a whole new level of trouble? Any of these dark spells have consequences. The three sisters' magic on next level. Yeah, I agree with Kalani on this one. I mean, we could get hurt or even worse. I mean, I think we should just go back to the castle. We don't want to risk it. Yeah, and we can get even with Paul and give him a taste of his own medicine. Leave that to me. He killed my best friend. Better believe there'll be some payback. We're running out of time. We have to get started or we'll never see Peter again. But if you say so. There goes nothing. To emerge from glimmers of memory back to the enveloping light of your being. To be together born again of a new dawn, joined as immortal souls, walk, waking from an earthly amnesia. Lock and dulse mortal. Thanks. Look. Ez, can you see me? C can you hear me? Oh, Peter, no. Oh, boy. My god, Peter, it's you. Guys, I've been here all along. I know what happened to me. I know everything. You guys need to run. Evil is coming. Fools. Huh? What have you done? What did we do? What have you done? We were looking for the Three Sisters archive, and we had to bring our friend back. No, not like this. Enchanto Moride! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They just got hit. No, they trapped you. This is the next level map.
magical spell. You need to know what you're doing. You invited them here. This is how they follow you. I can see we're out about the castle late. Professor Finks. Morgothos Helimus. What is this? Yes. Come out of here now. Happened that we need to search the castle. You take the east wing, you take the west wing, and don't stop until you find it. Let's fight. Let's fight. Our duty is to protect this castle. Let's go! I see you're still brown nosing to the council. You know what they say those who can't do. Teach. I would say I'm glad to see you too, but given our last encounter, I prefer to see you banished at Maple for the rest of your evil life. Ah, oh, that's this. <laughs> Is that the best that you got? Did you forget we had the same teacher and I was the better student? Back when we were kids, and I can see you're still engaging in child's play. Back to the park. You need to cool down a bit. Stay on ice, old friend. Rest a minute. Are you that dumb to come here today? My powers have grown stronger than yours will ever be. You should have never brought back the Dark Lord. You've fallen once before, you will fall again. The problem with your overconfident people is that they think that they can't go down. You've been in this castle so long, you can't see the magic outside of it. Aqua
Bond, I'm here to relieve you. I was told to guard the book. Go to the west wing of the castle and relax. Go to the west wing of the castle. I have it from here. Yeah. <laughs> 